Welcome along guys. Well, I'm off-roading again. I'm at the Triumph Adventure Experience, South Wales, Brecon Beacons Mountains for a day of wet off-road fun. Bring it on. So, first off, just stand on the bike. Majority of the riding we're going to be doing, we're going to try doing it standing up, okay? So if you just gather around, when we say about bending your, your knees, a lot of people then do that. And all I can say is, if you were to stand there maybe for 10 minutes, standing like that, you wouldn't last too long. So what I do, stand on the bike, straighten them, a little bit of a bend, that's the ideal length. Again with off-roading, the gear pedal, different to on the road bike, we tend to put our foot underneath it and change gear. We don't do that. We literally, as we're riding, we just, you literally just flick it. And you'll always find that you go, the bike goes where you look. So a lot of the time when we're, when we're riding and we see a big rock there, we look at it and you go, I don't want to hit that rock. I don't want to hit that rock. You tend to venture to the rock. So I'm just going to demonstrate picking it up on my own, so just so you see you can do it. I get to there, both hands on the handlebar, with my knees bent. One, two, three, and up she goes. We all good with that? Let's get going. I thought this was going to be pretend off-road, but this actually sounds like it's going to be some proper decent off-road. What Triumph have done here, they've got a whole quarry to play in they've hired the whole quarry area so there's it's wood sections there's tracks it's, it, it sounds absolutely fantastic and it's exclusive to triumph no one else is allowed to use it but it looks like we're ready to go i mean these are the latest tigers as well this is this the 2018 tigers with all the changes all the updates and just riding here 10 minutes from the from the center i can tell you it's a very nice ride on the road even with the knobblies on Nick Plum is a four times Dakar entrant and also one of the youngest people to complete it. So he knows his stuff and he's running this course with four other instructors. So he splits into groups. These are the people with some off-road experience, but sort of beginner-ish, I'm hoping. I, I, I could be uh, outclassed here. Oh yes, bring it on. I'm scared already. They've got the bars high on these, so you can stand up. Look at look at the look at this look at this round here. Get the rear brake. This isn't pretend. This <laughs> this is proper. So you got to flick flick it up a gear. Why didn't I go in the beginners group? <laughs> Got to be loose on the bike. They said your arms would start to move in. Mine are. Keep your arms out so you've got leverage. Let the bike move about. Downhill. Get on that rear brake. Look at the views. My goodness. Oh, it's a bit slippy here on the rear brake. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We've got a bit of rear traction. We've got no ABS on the rear, so we should be able to do a few skids and ABS on the front, but that is not going to save you here if you pull a load of front brake, cornering ABS or not. Hey, let's get a bit of a, a bit of a feel. These facilities are rather impressive. The whole facility is brand new. They're taking this very seriously, this off-road stuff, the idea being now this is the first global one and they may roll this out to other countries so this is like the, uh, the UK's got the leading leading off-road centre well as you'd imagine being Triumph it's nice to keep it British that is slippery I do not want to go in there oh god it's stirring me not the other way around Jesus so this is the first I guess a little just getting used to manoeuvring on the loose stuff all quarry, so a lot of this is just loose slate and rock, whatever it is. Oh, it's a big old bike. 
it's not like a little 300 a little 250 it's a big old bicycle can I sit down yet? Way. that's the front I haven't dropped it yet I'm sure it's going to come because this is wet and slippery so basically normally we've had a lot of rain overnight normally the surface is a lot better than this it is quite slippery so this is the first place you come to sort of do some lessons and, and moving around, manoeuvring but it is quite slippy and they're going to play around with the surface as well so they basically said you know don't go don't take this is what it's like all the time we've had a lot of rain hence why it's uh, as wet as this and it's slipping around as much as this flick it up a card try and get i need to get comfortable standing up that's my biggest problem is i just not comfortable stood up these ones don't have the quick shifter the 800 and it's moving around a lot <laughs> oh, it's a bit scary but as long as the front is pointing in the right direction don't worry about the rear apparently <laughs> I'd say that's easier said than done let's have a bit of spinning let's try and have a bit of fun get into it you've got to get used to having the bike moving around there's no other way you're going to get used to doing this let the bike do what it wants to do first gear he reckons now get things square or you're going to be on your ass where am I going? I just struggle to Get my get it to turn. <laughs> how, the, how good does a scramble look? Sat down, I'd be much better. Stop going on. Oh, yeah, not bad. The thing which is concerning me is just maneuverability when you stood up. I just keep going wide and going all over the place. I think I just I just haven't learned how to turn it properly. I mean, normally on a, on, a, on a little light Enduro, a 100 kilo Enduro, it goes where you tell it, you know. But because, it, because this is heavier, it, you've got to really give it some lean and shift your weight to make it move in, you know, in tight, a tight radius. Oh, look at the view though. Look at that view. Hello, what we got here? Ooh, this is quite steep downhill. Better find that back brake. Yeah, that's quite steep. Some weight over the back. Don't come out of this rut here. Keep it where it wants to be. Wet grass on a 220 kilo bike. <laughs> I'm such a worse. I'm such a worse. Don't go straight on now and learn how to turn, for Christ's sake, chops. Put some power now. Give it some turning. Give it some turn. Don't, don't go, don't, don't go over. Don't go over there, chops. Way. Bit of that. Whoa. End of the day, you're here to have fun. So have some fun. Scared or not? That's my opinion. Remind me of that when I'm in hospital. Oh, I'm getting into a little bit more now getting a little bit more comfortable oh look at that the quarry look at that it's amazing scenery around here there's the quarry that's the whole quarry there is some other guys doing something down there this is the XCA so this has all the options driving lamps um, heated front and rear seats heated grips it's got the off-road mode and the off-road pro that's a feature of the xa it's quite impressive off-road actually white power suspension the 800 is chain drive whereas the 1200 is shaft drive so obviously that's going to add a bit of weight to the bike so it'll be interesting to see what that's like off-road in a minute but you know they're not mucking about here they're not just driving around a wet car park with a few bits of gravel this is <laughs> this is proper off-road to test what these bikes can do i'm looking forward to getting on the scrambler the street scrambler with the, some extras on it as well the balance and hinds on it and stuff yeah <laughs> it's almost criminal is that suede ever going to be clean again let's stand up then if we must let's see if i can actually be happier 
stood up and sat down by the end of the day. That would be a great achievement from this. <laughs> I'm getting into it. Ooh, that's a big drop. Ooh, that is very steep. That looks very steep indeed. I stalled it. That's not good. Clutch in. Start it. <laughs> oh yeah, in the crow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lean, lean the bike. Get it upright. Ooh. Trashing control's good. Can really feel it working. It's not, you know, it's not like an arcade, old fashioned jerky traction control. It's really progressive. These new systems are very, very good. Let me just move my weight about. Just put your weight over the bike. Oh, she's locked in the stream. So why not? I'm going to do that. Why not do that? Yay. I've gone from being scared to enjoying it now. It always takes me a little while to... It's been a while since I've actually been off-road, so... It takes me a while to get over that fear. And because I couldn't steer the thing, it's even scarier. Now I'm slowly getting used to standing up and shifting my weight. <laughs> Just don't get too confident. I do not want to bin it. I've got my Triumph gear on, I've got my Triumph kit on. I'm fully Triumphed up. You could bring your own gear, but I, my gear's all a bit orange <laughs> for this event. So I'm borrowing theirs, which is handy. Whee. Ooh, actually, I don't like to, I don't like being sat down now. Maybe, maybe I've actually cured my preferring to sit down and stand up fears. This is just what I needed. Hell yeah. Let's let rip. Hell yeah. Suspension just soaks it up. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. And the heavy bike, it just, you know, it just ploughs on. It doesn't get bounced around too much. So providing you're not going ridiculous on the terrain, it's absolutely fine. This is where my low speed manoeuvring skills are going to be put to the test. Oh, Jesus, it's slippy. Jesus Christ. That front end is just going. <laughs> Whatever it wants, do not hit the tree. Jesus. Some weight over the front, maybe that will help. Put your weight forward over the front wheel. Okay, let's dig in. That's wet, that's slippery. Right, lean, you want to go this way? Stop leaning that way. Elbows out. Knees more, knees more or less locked. Pegs over the heel. The arch of your heel. Stop looking where you don't want to go. <laughs> Concentrate on the guy in front. Look further up the road. Stop looking at everything up close to you. I think that is, that's, that seems to work. Oh, I'm definitely getting into this stood up. Is this? Oh, cross camera on the slippy. That's quite tough. That's quite tough. Rear brake, locking up. That is very, very slippery. Try and be loose on the bars. Let's lean this way. Traction control sorts it out for you. Hey, loving it. Do you like that TFT? It's nice to have a TFT where you can actually see the rev counter. That's my biggest criticisms of TFTs. Getting to see the rev counter properly. And the, they have sorted that on the Triumph. I mean, look at the facilities here. A whole quarry to play in, basically. I mean, it, it, it does look a bit slippy and a bit nasty at the moment, but I think that's due to the weather. This place doesn't open for another month, so the weather's going to dry out. We're doing this in, we're doing this in the uh, end of March, and it was raining all night. So during the summer months, or by middle of April, 
I think it will be, uh, be fine. You've got Chops the guinea pig testing it out for you in the worst possible conditions. Hoping not to fall off. Trying not to fall off. Praying he doesn't fall off. And comparing this to a, like a, a little 100 kilo enduro, you, you've got to be slower. You, you know, you, you can't change direction quickly. But, you know, for the, the little bumps, it just glides over. You can feel that weight, but why not, you know? It's not the sort of thing you'd want to do on your own bike, this, so <laughs> do it on Triumphs. Oh. Whoa! She's snaking. Hey! It's exciting, terrifying, adrenaline pumping action. is wet and slippery. Try not to go too bananas. This is fun. It is a lot of fun. You've really got to hold on when you <laughs> when you give it some when you stood it up and you don't do the old twist in the throttle as you fall backwards. Brilliant. Oh, that traction control does make you feel like a hero. Puddle, big one! There's a humongous puddle here. Whoa! <laughs> Brilliant! That's a lot of fun! Miserable. That's a lot of fun! Miserable. Sitting down. No, I don't like it now. I think I prefer, I think I'm a stand-up man now, you know. Maybe I'm converted. Maybe I'm now proper. Maybe I'm someone who, who does off-roading stood up. Well that was a great little introduction and a bit of morning's riding. I'm already feeling like an off-road hero. <laughs> I think it's more due to the bike than to my skills. I wonder what they've got planned for the afternoon. But first of all, it's time to fill my belly. I know you want to see the lunch. All the same you lot. What is that? Mm -mm -mm. Someone else is down. Is it the scrambler? I might say sat down so I can get the feet down. Isn't that worth 250 quid?